So again, this is Melissa Smith with the National Weather Service. We are looking at a strong winter storm and blizzard entering the area later today and continuing through Wednesday. We're looking at some very heavy snow amounts. A lot of areas are going to exceed over a foot of snow with one to two feet of snow in some places. The combination of these heavy snowfall amounts with northerly winds are gonna create blizzard conditions with significant blowing and drifting of snow. The snow and the winds will gradually diminish on Wednesday. The strongest winds will be over the South Dakota Plains where the blizzard warning is in effect from 6 p.m. this evening to 6 p.m. Wednesday. The snow and the winds will start a little bit earlier across northeastern Wyoming where we have that winter storm warning that goes in effect um, at noon today through noon on Wednesday. So we're looking at some very heavy snowfall. One to two feet of snow is possible across the Black Hills, especially as you get into the Northern Black Hills. The Lee Deadwood area will probably have the highest snowfall amounts. We're looking for a wide swath of over 12 inches of snow extending across most of Northeastern Wyoming and Western South Dakota. There is some uncertainty still down in South Central South Dakota, as you get from a line from about Martin over to White River and further east, there's going to be some freezing rain and sleet, which is going to cause a mixture of conditions there. And that's where the snowfall amounts are more uncertain. Due to the combination of this heavy snow and wind, travel may not be possible on Tuesday and Wednesday. Don't hone in on the exact amounts. It's gonna be very difficult to measure any snow that we do get due to the significant blowing and drifting of the snow. So what are we looking at today? Here is a timing of the snow and the wind. So midday today, we are looking at the snow moving into the Southern and Western portions of the area, Southwestern South Dakota, and Southern Campbell and into Weston counties. By midday today, we could have an inch or less over some portions of the Black Hills with the highest amounts um, down by the right area and then over in Fall River County. The graphic on the right shows our forecasted wind gusts. We are going to have um, easterly winds um, coming in to the area with gusts of 25 miles an hour or so by midday today. The strongest wind gusts are gonna be limited to southwestern South Dakota and southern portions of Campbell County um, for today and this afternoon. As we get into this evening, we're looking around six o'clock. Our snapshot is showing the snowfall mounts on the left, our wind gusts on the right. The snow is going to expand northward with snowfall amounts up to six inches or so over the Black Hills and over Southern Campbell County. Areas in Southwestern South Dakota will have one to three inches. Those winds are gonna shift a little bit more from the east over to the east northeast with the strongest winds of gusts up to 35 miles an hour across Fall River County. By tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning at 6 a.m. Mountain Time, 7 a.m. Central Time, the bulk of the snow is going to fall tonight. We're looking at a foot or more of snow over the Black Hills, southwestern South Dakota, and portions of northeastern Wyoming. And the combination of those winds, those winds are going to start picking up, especially areas south of I-90 are going to start seeing some winds with some gusts up to 45 miles an hour by tomorrow morning. The warmer colors on both of these graphics denote the higher snowfall amounts and the higher winds. We're looking at very heavy snow, especially from midnight tonight through about Tuesday morning. As we get into the day on Tuesday, we're gonna see that by Tuesday evening, six o'clock Tuesday mountain time, seven o'clock central time, we're looking at those one to two feet of snow already occurring. By this time, six o'clock um, tomorrow, 
we're going to see most areas already getting the bulk of their snowfall. The snow will be ending. However, as soon as the snow starts ending, that's when our winds are going to increase. We're looking at very strong northerly winds with frequent gusts over 50 miles an hour across the South Dakota Plains. The combination of all this snow that we're having falling, and it's gonna be heavy wet snow, we're definitely gonna see some blizzard conditions with all the blowing snow. We do have that uncertainty area still in South Central South Dakota with variable snowfall amounts due to the freezing rain and sleet. If we get a little bit more colder air into this area, we will see higher snowfall amounts. A little bit warmer air will cause more ice. As we get into 6 a.m. Wednesday, the warmer colors are showing those higher amounts. We don't really have much, any, much of any additional snowfall. Um, what is already occurred will, will pretty much remain. However, those winds start to pick up. This is the time when areas across northeastern Wyoming will see those strongest winds. For those of you in South Dakota, this is when we're going to start getting those winds ramping up, especially by Wednesday morning. We're looking at wind gusts of over 50, 60 miles an hour, especially on the South Dakota plains. The highest wind gusts are expected east of the Black Hills, especially in this area right here from about Buffalo down to Faith, over to Rapid City, Kadoka, Winter, and all the way along the interstate to the river. By 6 p.m. Wednesday, the good news is the winds start to die down. They start to decrease. We will still have some gusts over 50 miles an hour on the South Dakota Plains. But for those of you over in Northeastern Wyoming, we'll have a, a light westerly wind by this time. So therefore the winds are coming down and we will still have all of our snow. We're not looking at any additional snowfall. Um, for, for Wednesday during the day. It's all gonna be the winds coming down. So overall, here's what we're looking at for some maximum wind gusts. This is our Tuesday afternoon through Wednesday morning period. We could see gusts, you know, 60 miles an hour or so out here by wall, you know, 55 miles an hour or so Rapid City, but all the way out from Rapid City to Kadoka down to Mission, is that area where we're going to see those those highest wind gusts and that's going to be tuesday afternoon through wednesday morning with the winds gradually decreasing on wednesday combination of all this snow and this wind are going to cause blizzard conditions so again looking at these conditions and Across the area, we're going to have our winter storm warnings that are in effect and our blizzard warnings. Um, we're looking for significant snowfall across the entire area. So right now, I'm going to end our recording.